What's up Baku Gun Brawlers? I'm Face Off from Baku Twins here and today I'm gonna be reviewing Shield Deck. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright Bakugan Brawlers, we're gonna start off with the Bakugan first. The first Bakugan came with it is uh, Shield Leonis. It's been, uh, Shield Leonis is used by uh, Cole Griff in uh, the Bakutech series. It looks like a lion or a tiger creature. Uh, it's ma it's mainly it's mainly used for shield or defense, as if you can see in the name. It's called Shield Leonis. Um, it comes with three metal uh, parts, which can be removed to change whether you wanted to put plastic or rubber. Uh, th there's not so much detail in the when it's closed, but when it's open, it reveals much more details. So let's open it up. So this is Shield Leonis when it's open. It looks very cool in my opinion. You can see its mouth could open very wide. Uh, this is an automatic piece you can open here. And it has a printed G power of 640 Gs. And when it opens on a card, it uses its two front legs to uh, defend the Bakugan from hitting, so it's its face, uh, because it's really tough to get through it, that's why. Uh, yeah, and this is its Bakugan, and I can remove uh, its convert pieces part. This is its metal, it looks like that. And guys, by the end of the video, I uh, will be putting pictures of each of the Bakugan, so you can see it in more detail. So next Bakugan we'll be going is called uh, Dai Foju. It's an Aquas Bakugan. Uh, I have never seen this one in the Bakutech series. I think it's just exclusive to the toy version, not in the in the comic, maybe not in the comic or in the series. It's an Aquas Bakugan. It looks really cool. It has two different variations. One it's one it's when it's standing, one it's when it's laying. You can turn this up and down. Um, yeah, also it does not have a lot of detail. As you can see, there's only like some colors and stuff like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you first. The, I'm gonna show you when it's open. This is the first variation. When it's open, it's it's long. It's also used for defense. It has a weaker G power than Shield Leonis. It's 620 Gs. As you can see, when you keep when it's open on the ground, it really uses. It's very good for blocking and covering the gate card. It's mainly using for. It's mainly for not allowing the opponent to fight with it or try and not allowing it to do a to perform a critical KO or a critical hit. So this is Dai Foju. I'm going to be showing you right now the second variation. All right, so this is the second variation of Dai Foju. As you can see, it's now standing a bit taller. I think this is when you when you want your opponent to stand to fight with you, you use this position. And uh, this when, when you use the second position, it's uh, more likely to more likely to occur in um, critical KO or a critical hit because it uses less defense. And yeah, it looks a pretty nice Bakugan. It looks like some sea dragon Bakugan. All right, then the last Bakugan which comes with it, it's called Gravity Gnome. Uh, kind of weird name for this type of Bakugan when you see it open. Uh, this has a couple of details that you can see over here and of the colors. It's actually a mechanical Bakugan. It looks like a robot. Its legs are also uh, could be removed for convert uh, system. It's the darkest Bakugan, and this is this is how it looks like when it's just open. You can see it looks like a robotic Bakugan. It kind of resembles Splight from season three Bakugan. You can see this is like its uh, weapon. It uses like a gun or something over here. And this is when you remove this, it's also a convert piece. This is a, um, it's made of plastic, not metal. So it's a pretty lightweight Bakugan. Uh, it's printed G power is 620 Gs, like Dive Fuju. They're the same G power. You can see G power is over here located. Okay. And uh, when you open the unautomatic piece, it resembles, it uh, reveals a horn on its head here. And also a couple of legs. I mean, two legs only. Here. This is how it looks like. Also pretty cool. Bakugan. Hi, brawlers. Right now we're going to uh, go to the gate cards. It comes with three metal gate cards. 
comes in even different color it comes in copper silver and gold we'll go first for the gold gate card this gate card uh, gives 60 for pyrus subterra and for uh, the rest of the attribute for aquas Heos, darkest and ventus it gives 100 g uh, pretty low on its judge point but the rule when you translate it it says uh, play during battle all um, all shield deck Bakugan will be will get its printed G power 800G so you'll become automatically 800Gs plus its judge point you'll become automatically 900Gs so this is the first gate card and this is its symbol for shield deck the second gate card is silver no rules it's zero for Pyrus and Subterra and Ventus and 100 for Aquas, Chaos, and Darkest, because Shield Deck comes in Aquas, Chaos, and Darkest Bakugan. Pretty cool. And this is the last gate card which comes with it. It's Copper. It says, play during a battle, your opponents may not gain the gate attribute bonus. So if you're, if so if you're, this is, can be very useful for opponent who has, uh, who has um, attribute or very strong cards. So you will only be getting the judge point, but your opponent will not be adding the judge point. Pretty useful. 160 for all of the attributes and yeah that's done with the gate cards right now uh it also comes with six new ability cards uh they're kind of smaller than the normal ability cards and they're they look like this because they're they're the japanese type ability the first and it comes with two blue two green and two red ability the first ability comes is this blue ability card. It says, play during battle, your Bakugan will add G-Power to its attribute. Moreover, if you have uh, this metal attached to your Seches Tranival, uh, it's a ty another type of Bakugan, pretty rare to get, your Bakugan will get double the gate, the, your Bakugan will get double the attribute bonus. So you will get double 120, 100 or 80. All right, so the next ability card I uh, got with it is red ability card. It says play before you roll gravity gnome or die for you. You will double its gate attribute bonus and ability card bonuses during this battle. Then this ability card, it's a blue ability card. It says play during battle. Your Bakugan will get G power base in its judge point over here. So I'll get 160 for Pyre for sorry for Aquas, Chaos, and Darkest. But moreover, if I'm using Shield deck, I would get double the gate at the G power bonuses. So I'll get 320 Gs. Pretty powerful. Then um, uh, it came with this green ability card. It says play during a battle where you have Shield Leonis or Tri Falco. Your Bakugan will get printed G power 300 G. Will get additional 300 G bonus. Then uh, this red ability card. It says play before you roll Shield Leonis. Your Shield Leonis will double its printed uh, double its G power bonus. Uh, it will double its gate attribute bonus and ability card bonus. Same as uh, this ability it comes with. But this one is only for Gravity Gnome and for Daifoju. This one is for Shield Leonis. Then this final ability card is Green Ability Card. It says Play Ring Battle, your Shield Leonis will just get 200G. Just basic ability. Alright guys, right now we've come to the end of the video. But before I end the video, uh, I'll just show you a brief, I'll show you a bit about the box. This is the box it comes with. As you can see uh, over here, Shield Leonis, Gravity Gnome, and Dive Foju. Uh, this is Ko, Ko Griff who uses uh, Shield Leonis in this battle. I mean, in the series. And a pretty uh, couple of information about Baku Tech and its Bakugans. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, brawlers, we've come to the end of the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please give a like and subscribe and comment for more suggestions. See you later, Bakugan Brawlers. Face off for Baku Twins, signing off.